Remember when, when you know, the movement for Britney started coming up again and, and how Britney, you know, she she uh, exposed like all the, the the abuse and being used and being bled dry by her family. She also and didn't also named Jamie Lynn Spears uh, for that. Even on even on this channel, I I say I I even though I agreed with Britney and what she was saying uh, for the most part, but I was I was I was not gonna go full on. 100% because a lot of her hardcore fans will be tra going in tr against and trashing uh, Jamie Lynn for what, you know, because because she did also, you know, use Britney as well because because that's what she was brought, brought up in. But we said it on this channel, but she was also raised in the same family. And then it w I was reminded that she was also one of these Nickelodeon uh, uh, children. And they, when they showed that that scene with the goop, uh, the f I was like, I was like, watch. And I said it back then on this channel. Watch all these people. These be, that you're. It's okay to advocate for Britney Spears and and to fight for her freedom. That's good. But for the ones who are trying to bash the little I, the, the, the the Jamie just to, nope. to, show, to show support for Britney, I I said what this pendulum is gonna swing back the other way. And I feel like I feel like uh, I feel like a, a lot of a lot of those people who were bashing Jamie Lynn just to support, show solidarity for Britney are going to go back into their tweets to try to delete some mean things that they said about her now. Because well, you know, you know, there was rumors going around that her when she, you know, you know, she got pregnant when she was a teenager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That the kid that she got pregnant with, you know, yeah. that her oldest, uh, her oldest child is actually Dan's child. Wow. I, I, I'm I, I, wow. I did not know about that rumor, but you know, it's that that's, uh, uh, but we said it on this channel back back when that whole thing was popping off with Britney. I, I was like, I I I was not gonna go hard uh, against Jamie Lynn. I I I was not gonna disagree with Brit. I believe Britney what she said because yeah, she was the cash cow, and yeah. of course the whole family was was bleeding her dry as much as they could. But they were also trying to make uh, Jamie Lynn just as popular and much of a cash cow, if not more. They were trying to recreate it. They were because if, if Jamie would have became just as popular or more popular than Britney, they'd have did the same thing to her too. And oh. so I felt like I'm like they they were all brought up in this in this household. I'm not gonna. I understand Britney's mad, but this whole thing with this Nickelodeon uh, documentary, this this documentary, I was like, I'm, I'm I was like every I felt like everybody that was bashing Jamie, they're gonna a lot of them are gonna pretend like 95 percent of them are gonna try go back and delete those tweets. I don't think what jamie's been through also excuses every poor choice that she makes either no, of course, no, she, no, no, of course not. she's still accountable for how she treats people and what she does as well yeah. um just like i think amanda Bynes still needs lots of help and is still accountable for the way she treats people and how she acts even though that she's been put through the ringer and hell there was a rumor that i mean she even claimed that she had an abortion at 13 Damn. with her because of she was pregnant with her boss's child and they, you said that they never they they made sure in the doc they, that Dan was never ever uh, uh, accused of or found guilty of anything inappropriate with a with a minor, but he damn sure was accused of and sued for what uh, about the harassments that he did against women in, in general. That Correct. Hostile work environment. But with but, as close as he was to those kids and how he was using those kids, mm -hmm. like for them to consistently say this fear and this these uncomfortableness just it makes it very hard for me to believe that something didn't happen, didn't happen yeah. Ooh, so. man but that yeah. that documentary I, yeah. I definitely needs to be watched yeah it does need to be it does need to be watched <laughs> i i got like i said i got through it i got three hours it was a quick binge um i i'm trying to promote it i'm, I'm not trying i'm trying to use the right words i'm not going to use the word enjoyed i was very i was informed and it's um, very informative it's very it is a intense watch you it, do have to process like it does change the way you kind of look at the kids shows that you enjoyed that's a truth from, but it's an important watch it's definitely worth watching remember to like this video become a subscriber and share it this really does help us out if you would like to watch more from us from t3 media studio click here or here thanks for watching Ah, oh, stop being NC17.